All right, today we're going to install some Volker bearings into my B44.2. We're going to be using the ceramic orange seal Volker bearings. Um, these are the part numbers that you're going to need to do the front and rear hubs on your car. All right, step one is of course you take off the wheels and then you're going to use a 564th hex to get the hex off your rear axle so you just take this off and put it aside next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little pin here it should just slide out just like that put it right there so I know exactly where it is now there's going to be shims on the axle here and on the inside of the axle on the bearings what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my needle nose and just take off the bulk up so this rear axle can come out I'm going to put my hand underneath so I can catch the shims. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the shim for their one side, and there should be. So I'm gonna put that right with everything else, and then there should be a number of shims on the axle itself. I think there's three shims on the inside. I'm gonna put that down, and then I'm gonna take the axle and just put that down to the side itself too. Now. Here's the old bearings. Oh, we have more shims on. This is the old bearings that we're replacing. We use one of my other hex drivers and just push out the other old bearings. Stop. All right, here's the bearings that we're going to use. These are the ceramic orange seal Boca bearings. Um, they are the best ones you can get, and they are what you should use. So anyway, you're going to take the big one, the big bearing, and put it on the outside. So it's just nice and flush with the outside of the hub. Everything looks good. You're going to take a crush tube next. Slide that in there. Make sure it's straight. Then the outside bearing just slides into place. Make sure everything is nice and flush there, flush there. Now, I always have my instruction book with me, so I make sure I put everything back correctly. Now, according to this, we should have three spacers on the inside and one spacer on the outside. So, next, we're going to take the axle. We're going to do like the instructions say and put three spacers on the inside. All right, now that we got the three spaces on the inside, we're going to slide the axle back into the bearings and the rear hub. At this point, I'm going to put the dog bone back into the outdrive and attach the tie rod end. Snap it back into place. Now, for the outside, the instructions call for one shim. I'm going to slide that on the outside of the axle. I'm going to take the pin, slide that through the hole. These should slide very easily and just make sure it's centered like that. Then we take the hex and slide the hex back in and line it up. Now, I don't want to kill this too tight. I just want to make it tight enough, you know, so it's snug and not have a lot of play in it. Then we're going to tighten this hex down. And that's it. We're done with the rear axle. 
All right, now we're just going to run through the other side and just run through it without me talking, and just so you can see how long it would take. Okay, and that is that.